Well, hello, everybody. This is Rick Trummer from Mid-South Color Labs bringing you to our video library. This is something new that we're going to be doing, and we're going to start you off with how to set up Photoshop to make sure that you're working in the right color space. It's one of the biggest problems uh, that studios have is not being set up properly. And we all assume that we are set up properly. When I'm on the phone with customers, uh, one of the things that I always go into when they talk about color, um, I say, what color space are you in? And they say, oh, I'm in sRGB. And my first question is, how do you know that? Well, their response is, well, because when I go into my color settings area, I look at my working space and it says sRGB because that's what Adobe sets your computer up at. But we've got a little bit of a problem with that. Let's go ahead into color spaces and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. So if we go into the color settings inside Photoshop, you'll notice that the default setting for color is North American General Purpose 2. This is what all computers come standard with when you're loading Adobe Photoshop. Now, the reason that we all think we're working in sRGB is because right here in our working space, it says under our RGB workspaces, it says sRGB right here. And so we make the assumption that we're working in the sRGB color space. But here's the problem, folks. Down below in the color management policies area, you have all of these set to preserve the embedded profile. So if you don't have either your Lightroom set up properly to export to S sRGB, or you don't have your ACR application from the bridge, Adobe Camera Raw, set up to export in sRGB, what happens is you're preserving the embedded profile. So although your color space is sRGB up here, you're embedding a profile that's Adobe. And guess what, folks? Both those applications export out of Adobe. They, that's the preset mechanism that is there. So basically what's happening is Adobe is actually telling us or forcing us into the Adobe RGB color space. And that's where the problems begin. So what I want you to do is that we're going to set up in this first lesson, we're going to actually set up and I'm going to show you how you should make this your studio default. So all of the above assigned working spaces are absolutely fine. This is exactly where you need to be. But down below under your color management policies, what you want to do is you want to convert to working. That means that it's telling that no matter what it comes in at, it's going to convert to your working space, which is, which is sRGB. You might as well take all of these and put them into convert to working, convert to working. So you want to be in convert to working RGB, convert to working CMYK, and convert to working gray. Now, the key to that, so you know where you can figure out where this problem is happening, is click on these three buttons down below. And what will happen is anytime there's a color mismatch, you'll have a little note that comes up that says, hey, we've got a mismatch in your color profile. What do you want to do? Well, of course, we want to convert to our working space. So, but that will figure out where the problem is. In subsequent videos, what I'm going to be discussing is how to set up both your Lightroom and your Adobe Camera Raw so that you'll never see a message like that. But for now, you want to have all of these set. So we're going to set to convert to working on all of these. Check these three boxes. You'll notice at the top then, your settings is now custom. Let's go ahead and hit the save button there. And we're going to call this our studio default. What will happen is we're going to save it there. That way, if any time that you update Photoshop or anything that you're doing inside there, it a lot of times will go back to its preset station, which is North American General Purpose 2. Now we'll be able to shortcut it and go straight back. So let's go ahead and hit save. Now, I already have one of these saved in my system. I'm just going to replace it. And then the next thing that comes up here is a little comment area. The idea of this is that if you have employees or something and they're messing with your color space, that you write a little note to them. Uh, for the most 
for most reasons, you can just not do anything here. But if you do have employees, you may want to put in there, please do not touch my color space on this system, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to put in here, you can do that. That'll show up down here in the description area down below. So we're going to click OK. And you'll see that exactly what the description was is down here. So we've got this set to studio default. So if anybody does make a change, let's say one of these gets put back to preserve or off, it'll go back to custom. But if you click here, you'll go right into your studio default and it'll go ahead and reset all of that. Once you click OK, you're all set to go. So thanks for joining us for this first video um, from Mid South Color Lab. We are completely here for you and this is one more way that we can help you become a better studio and in turn we can become a better lab so thanks again and uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, additional videos that are going to be coming out and uh, thanks for becoming part of our team here at Mid-South Color Lab.